What's it like dating a Pisces woman? This is an impossible question to ask. Who is a Pisces woman? Can mere mortals such as us even begin to wrap our head around that question? Pisces women are not of this earth. They are alien, they are goddesses, they are mermaids. They don't live in the same dimension that the rest of us do. Sometimes they do, like when you have to like go to work with them or you know, maybe they're on your softball team. I could probably do about hundred different videos and each time I could bite off a little bit more of some valuable information about a Pisces woman but even after I go out and post the video what I probably said isn't even going to be true any longer. Pisces is the last sign in the zodiac. It's the natural ruler of the 12th house. Pisces is said to encapsulate all of the other signs, right? So a Pisces woman is in some sense a little bit of every of the other 11 signs. But Let's ground ourselves a little bit for the purposes of this video, right? We're not talking about Pisces women generally. We're talking about what it's like to date a Pisces woman. And with that, I will say that the most important thing to keep in mind is that Pisces women are, are very porous. And by that, I mean they are um, somewhat boundaryless. They don't see things in black and white. They don't see concepts in black and white. They don't see distinctions between people or relationships in black and white. Everything is not even gray. Everything is kind of just like in this natural um, state of movement. I imagine that Pisces women as children probably hated the question like, what's your favorite color? Or what do you want to be when you grow up? Pisces women, it's like all of them or I don't know, like why would you even ask me that question, right? It's so futile to come up with one word answers to these silly questions. What's the point? And so when you ask a Pisces woman on a date, she doesn't really care so much about the date or the date as it is this material placeholder of like a place we're gonna go and a time we're gonna do it and you know, it's gonna be this type of weather or this type of day. She doesn't care how we're getting there. She doesn't care if we drive, like she's not, those kind of things bore a Pisces woman or depress her. They're just not that interesting. If she's agreed to go on a date with you, she's thinking about like, ooh, you know, what would my life with like this person be like? What would our kids be? Ooh, well, well, I'm like, well, I kiss him, right? I wonder if he's like good in bed. I wonder if he's nice, you know? Oh, I knew some nice people once, or I guess I should pick out something to wear. Everything in my closet though is either like blue or the color of regret or nostalgia. I don't really know what colors those are, but I, I know them when I see them. It's the only way I can describe it really. Pisces women have a little bit of um, a disinterest in kind of ordinary reality. So this, you know, more stereotypically, they live in this sort of highly dreamy state, right? This dreamy fantasy-like state. Although I will note that sometimes um, especially if there's some sort of blockage or there's some hard aspects on their Pisces sun or Pisces planets. They can also mirror some of their opposite, right? Virgo-like traits of like hyper rigidity, hyper unrealistic boundaries, tunnel vision on like few very specific things. And those two situations seem like completely different, but underline that is right. It's like this feeling of being slightly out of place in the kind of normal day-to-day -day societal reality that everyone else sort of participates in and expects other people to kind of also participate in. At the end of the day though, Pisces are just hopelessly, hopelessly incurable romantics. They completely want to merge and bond with the partner. Like they want that true, true experience of love. You know, however we want to describe it. To a Pisces, they probably would say it can't even be described. You know, they're not interested in looking for just like a husband or a, a boyfriend, you know? They really truly want a lover, right? They want a soulmate, a twin flame, um, for those that believe in that. Like they really want love as almost like a, a spiritual experience, as a transcendental experience. It's important to know though, if you're dating these women that they don't necessarily feel like they have to get this from one person. I mean, they typically do want it from one person. Like they do want like a soul partner. It's not like they're naturally wired to be like non-monogamous, but they sort of sense that like love is an energy, right? It's in the cosmos. It's not 
uh, a matter of contract or agreement between two people. It's, it's not what happens when you, know, you agree that you're gonna go on three dates and only have sex with one person and sleep in the same bed. Like That's not love for a Pisces woman. Like Love for a Pisces woman is unbounded, right? And it doesn't play by society's rules, right? And they can feel that from a person, from a partner, they can also feel that in moments from other things, from art, from a book that they love, from someone they admire. They can, they can experience it for friends. It's kind of like non-differentiated, right? They, they aren't gonna say, ooh, you know, this love is romantic and sexual and, and this love is strictly platonic and these are the differences. It's all kind of like love and it's different types of love than manifestations of it. And they're sensitive to it. They have an antenna for that. And assuming they're not a Pisces, that's like a self-sacrificial martyr and it's just descended to complete renunciation of everything in this world, right? It's something that is, is truly important for um, their inner innermost needs. This is like a common scenario, maybe in a relationship with a Pisces, right? So say she's incredibly committed to you you have a, a strong bond, a soul bond, romantic connection. And maybe one day she has this like super intense, intimate conversation with another guy. And for her, it's not anything that she wants to pursue long term, but maybe this guy just like sensed this person was extremely, you know, empathetic and emotional. And he just like unloaded his whole life story onto her. And she like took the time to receive it and hear it, right? Because Pisces women are natural kind of receivers of that stuff. And in a moment, in that one moment, they made this sort of like strong, intimate connection. And for the Pisces woman, that was just kind of a life moment. Like there was some love there, right? And it's temporary love. It's love that's going to kind of float away, right? She's probably not going to keep going back to this guy. She just like, they had a moment, except maybe for this guy, like he's never experienced that or he's been very closed off his whole life or he just has had bad luck and hasn't met people. And in that one moment, he felt like the most intimacy and connection. And even though it was like completely non-physical, like felt this intense love for the girl. Now kind of like he wants to stay friends with her and she maybe like will, you know, says hi to him here and there, or gets coffee and entertains it, even though she doesn't really like wanna be with him. You know, what kind of boundaries do you put around that, right? Do you say that's emotional infidelity? Would that bother you? Because if you go to the Pisces woman and say, oh, that's like, you betrayed me, you did this, she's not totally gonna understand that. You, you kind of have to understand things from more of a relative truth perspective, from kind of a spiritual perspective, right? And that's not to say that you're not entitled to be upset by that, but those are just kind of like the, the situations where they're just kind of misty and murky and they're less like structured. You know, these are the nature of a lot of uh, experiences for Piscean women. You have to understand at the end of the day, right? Like. If a Piscean woman really loves you, she is totally gonna love you and she is totally going to be devoted to you, but on her terms and according to her boundaries, right? And those are just different for her and it's a little bit part of her own kind of existential, emotional genius. But you may not jive with them, but see, if you do, you need to have that conversation, right? You need to not put uh, assumptions on her. You need to put definitely not very traditional Western assumptions of what a female should be onto her. And you shouldn't even put assumptions that, you know, you haven't talked about with her. The thing is, is like with Pisces women is that even if you do to kind of talk about these things, you really just have to decide once and for all, like, do I trust this person or don't I, right? And do I want this person to kind of be my life partner in this realm, in this planet, in this lifetime? And am I okay with kind of like someone that is living life on a little bit of a different vibration? Obviously it's a lot more complex and nuanced than that, but that's kind of like what you're dealing with with, with a Piscean woman. She is going to be able to see the beauty in other people and, and the love and their uniqueness, right? And she wants to experience all of that. And she sees, you know, life is, is kind of a, a big poem. So let her experience it. Let her be inspired by it, right? She's always going to ultimately come back to you, assuming that you are creating 
and supporting space for her to do that. Sometimes um, Pisces placements are sometimes maybe vulgarly or maybe we could say irresponsibly associated with things like borderline personality disorder, right? Because Pisces woman has um, such a different approach to setting boundaries that Pisces woman becomes like a different person to so many different people. And it's almost like when you bring all those different people together in one place and Pisces suddenly has to now be all those people at the same time, it's kind of like something that's going to make her head explode. So that's where you can kind of see maybe some of the, uh, where the concerns about deviousness or deception comes in, because Pisces kind of wants to have their friendships and their unique relationships with all these different people in those separate contexts, right? And so if you're like, hey, my Pisces girlfriend, like bring all your pals over in one place and we're gonna like have a cookout and she's not down with it, it doesn't necessarily mean that it's because she's having like 15 different affairs. It could, but, um, but that's not always the most um, appropriate or, or helpful question to be framing that. Pisces women do seem very delicate. They do seem very gentle. They are very like ephemeral. It doesn't mean that you know you can mold them into the person that you want them to be, right? You have to see that nature is such a gift and a superpower and the reason that you're with them should be because you absolutely love it and you see this person that just continually blows your mind and teaches you something and shows you a side of your human experience that you would never get anywhere else. When you do start really trying to uh, mold and, ha and, and kind of hammer in and control, that's when you're going to completely deflate the life energy of a Pisces. Pisces women can be very self-sacrificial. They can be martyrs. And it's almost, a, that's a source of like their own dark power, right? It's not good power. It's kind of evil power because it, it, it's, it's life negating for them. When they've kind of become so deflated or discouraged or given up, that's sort of their kind of nuclear option superpower. Well, they just say, fine, fine, honey, whatever you want. Tell me whatever you want to do. I'll be whoever you want me to be. And when they get in that state, that's very hard to react to. It's, it's hard to respond to because that's obviously not what you want. Like you just want them maybe to hear your perspective. I think that is the, one of the most challenging things, right? Is that there's gonna be a lot of discussion and dialogue and sometimes disagreement that happens between them just being complete martyrs and also them sometimes boundary setting in a way that's just too far or is just like too uncomfortable for you. Like a lot of it is in the middle. And so that's gonna be a challenge with dating a Pisces woman, right? To kind of navigate that. Even if you have a natural understanding and appreciation for the beauty that is a Pisces woman. If you are looking for a very traditional relationship with very traditional norms and expectations and you're expecting things to always stay the same, a Pisces woman isn't good for you. You're with a Pisces woman because you have this like soul bond, right? And there's almost like not a choice. You're driven by something almost higher than the, than the mind, um, even than the heart. It's like something spiritual, right? And you are with them because you want to go on this journey throughout life with them. And you have to know that there's going to be ebbs and flows and there's going to be um, light and dark and Pisces energy is going to expose you to some of the highest expression of humans, right? The highest uh, compassion, love, all of that. But also it's going to show some of like the darkest. Pisces ability to kind of detach and refrain from staying locked in to set boundaries can also make them almost not sociopathic, but that ability to kind of sometimes keep distance between having a certain kind of personality or being a certain kind of way that society expects where a Pisces is can sometimes look like they are a saint or they can look like they are the complete most degenerate evil piece of shit that like doesn't care what you think. And this can happen because Pisces is thinking about love and, and thinking about care from like a cosmos level perspective or like a world level perspective. How is what they're doing adding to the vibration of like everything, you know? Meanwhile, 
you're like, yeah, I get the whole like adding the vibration of creation and stuff, but like, uh, I'm just like really pissed that, you know, you're still talking to this friend that's making me really uncomfortable and your unwillingness to like really acknowledge it is extremely hurtful and like it seems evil to me. So that's a, maybe an extreme way of putting it, but that's kind of the prototypical conflict with Pisces woman and um, a good example of how they're so sort of misunderstood. At the end of the day though, like I said, Pisces woman, if you fall in love with one, there's a connection. You have to pursue it. They are truly otherworldly goddesses of this earth. So go for it. Hopefully some of this stuff helps give you some context. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.